Now, she raised like $700 million plus from these venture capitalists, private investors, and so on. Big names. You have Rupert Murdoch, Tim Draper, Larry Ellison. She never had a formal medical education. How was she able to convince these really, really smart guys to give her money? There's a multitude of reasons I think this worked for her. Some people will try and not look at this fact or not point to it, but it is also the fact that she is a young, good-looking, blonde woman, and these were all older men. There has to be something there, even if it's just for a small percentage of them, it could be a big percentage. But also, I feel as though a lot of this isn't accounted for when you do hear people talking about it in the media. And it is this kind of rich, white, upper class people club that she was in the club. She went to Stanford. She went to a very elite prep school as well. So she had a lot of those people in her circle already, like Tim Draper's daughter. And she knew what the rules of the club were, how to go in and make connections and speak with people. It is a lot of that, I think, with sort of any industry where if you have gone to these higher education places, you're in this club and it's all these connections that it isn't necessarily something like, oh, she went in and did a presentation. I'm sure a lot of those cases were her being introduced to someone or someone's friend putting in a word for her. That that happens a lot in these situations. It says a lot about the VCs then. I thought it was their job to vet a company before they even put any money. I don't think she even got any money from any VCs because the venture capitalist, like the actual funds, not from people like Tim Draper, that when she went to those very traditional funds, they were asking for proof. It's like a very quick scene of this in the show, The Dropout, where she's going, driving around, and then they had her like screaming in the car because they were all asking, like, you have a high school diploma. How are you doing this? And no one else has done it. There was people raising questions. I have followed this extensively since about 2007 because I was doing my undergrad and I worked in a lab and the lab director at the time, I remember bringing it in, like it was in a, one of the magazines and talking about it. And he was like, there is no way that this is like, this isn't possible. There's no way. And so from then I was always skeptical of her and just seeing it over the years. Imagine someone saying they said that to me. I, I trusted them. I knew they were a great person. And there was other people, other, I have a medical company now, but over time I've always been around doctors and people like that. And that all those people were questioning, but I kept seeing all this stuff in the press and I was like, how is she getting away with this? Regular people are saying this to me and yet she's in time 100 and all these other things. So that's why I've always been so fascinated with it because thought it would catch up to her, but it did take a long time for it too. <laughs> 